Look, we're always um, trying to improve the response. We're always benchmarking ourselves against um, other parts of the world. We're always cross-pollinating internationally. So I think we're in a very good position uh, to, to respond to a terrorist incident. Additionally, um, we have a very, very healthy relationship with the other uh, agencies involved, and that's across Australia. We exercise together, we train together, and um, the interagency relationships in Australia are second to none. Um, it's something that's very beneficial to us that a lot of other countries don't have. Um, so I think we're in a very, very good position. The main challenges um, are, are, I suppose, the prevention side and maintaining um, you know, public interest and, and their, their belief about the, uh, the threat that actually uh, exists. And, and just, I suppose, apathy would be the, the biggest challenge uh, at the moment, that uh, people um, dismiss the threat because nothing has happened for some years within Australia. Um, however, we have actually uh, intercepted um, yeah, real threats. So it is out there and uh, terrorism is real. Look, hypothetical scenarios are uh, an excellent way of training and of um, you know, developing under understanding of, of linked concepts. And um, in terms of groups that attend conferences, it gives them a bit of a big picture of how things uh, interact between agencies. So having different agencies up there uh, on the podium discussing what's happened gives the audience a, a better idea of where they stand in, in relation to the governmental response to uh, terrorist incidents. So I think um, look, desktop exercises, hypothetical situations, they're, um, they're very easy to run and they're uh, of great value.